fast and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymadencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with a Madden Ultimate video, and today we are going to be showing you two things. So first, the price is updated quite a ton for the new draft players, so I'm going to be updating those prices from yesterday's videos because those videos are not even close to relevant anymore. Like the two videos I made, I had prices, investments, and sniping tips for those, but those are just not relevant at all anymore. But also, you guys have been asking me to do a giveaway over here on YouTube because I usually do them on Twitter, so I'm doing one on Twitter right now. So I have two things of advice for you guys. So... If you guys have Twitter, or you don't, go make a Twitter, go over to Twitter, drop a follow, go retweet the tweet, and enter there. And if not, I'm going to give you guys a chance to enter through YouTube, because I know a lot of people only sit through YouTube, they don't go through Twitter. So for all you YouTube users, just drop a like on the video, comment your console, and um, just, con yeah, just comment your console and drop and drop a like. And it's not you're not required to sub, but I would really appreciate it if you guys did. And if this shows a lot of support, a lot of likes, a lot of comments, I'll be doing more throughout the on the channel specifically instead of just the Twitter because I know I get a lot more views on here than Twitter. So clearly people care about it. Well, people are more relevant to my channel on here. So if you could, I'd, for, I'd greatly appreciate the sub with it. And if I see a lot of improvement and some, some growth, some likes, some kind of, I'll do a lot more in here if it really means that much to you guys. So let me show you guys what the giveaway's for. So if you guys saw a video yesterday, the card that I thought I sniped, but I really didn't. I, I kind of lost a lot of money on it. I'm sure to give him away. So I'm giving away this 98 DeAndre Hopkins. So pretty awesome giveaway. One of the best cards in the game, I assume, because it's 98 overall. I have no use for him. I could care less. So I'm gonna throw him and throw him to you guys for showing some support. So go like, go comment, go sub if you guys want. Whatever force you guys to sub, but would appreciate it. You guys also won't regret it. Doing a lot of things in this channel. And um, yeah, so let me get into the video. So besides the giveaway, you guys know what to do with that. So now if we go to the auction block. And I show you guys these new draft players. We come down to program. Right at the bottom. I hit Team Diamonds because I'm dumb. <clears throat> so right here. Go to the 98s, which is where the Hopkins is going to be. And they're now at 283. So there's three things you could do here. So first thing is that you could do the set. Which only takes three of these cards, which is going to come out to no more than like 900k. At, no, it's going to come out to less than 900k. And get a Bruce Smith and three Nat 98 overalls for 900k, which isn't bad. Or, you could just snipe these for about like 230, 240, just sit here. Re put them back up. But there's a big, there's a big kind of um, reduction here. So, snipe might not be the best move on these. But, you could also invest, which is what I'll probably be doing. You could just buy like one of these for like a 260, 270. And then resell one point. Like, if there's a blitz possibly, which I don't know. Or there's better sets or things need more draft uh, capital like currency. So when that happens, these will go up to probably like 340, 330. And that's where you could sell those 260s up for 325 and then make like a margin of like 30 to 25K. Now, if you come down a little bit, these 96s are 160, which really is a pretty good price considering I am pretty sure these are really cheap 96s. So if I were you guys, I'd be sniping these for like 140 to 150. And then if they go back up, you can sell them. Or if you want to just make the quickest gains, I would stick to mm, about 140, just 140 flat. But you can also do 150-ish, one just if you want to invest and sell them later. For like, you could probably sell them at night, uh, on night when something comes out for like 180 to 190. But you have a pretty good game. I'm not the biggest fan of these cards. Don't plan on using them. But any new card is a new chance to make coins, so I don't really mind. You got Kenny Clark, 83. Definitely going to be going to be one of the better ones to be sniping because of the, the price of it. If you guys can get these for like 65 70k, it's a pretty good snipe. You can make about 8k a, a pop. And you sell these at night for about 91. It's a very, very, very good, very good guy to be sniping personally, in my opinion. I would stick to this one actually. You guys have the coins, but obviously I gotta go down because not everyone has the coins. These are really cheap for 90 overalls. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 90. This one right here. This one's nice. I like this one too because it's 50k. So we're just gonna probably cap it around. So you could probably just keep getting these to like 42, 41k, and then just keep throwing them up for 50 at night, and they'll probably sell. It's not a bad idea at all. I miss Justin Poo. Poo, Pew, Pug. I don't know. Former Giant. When our line was still trash, actually. So I thought like it made a difference, but whatever. 90 to 91. 
or Kivius Mingo. Hmm. Goes probably sell about 30. Get these guys for like 25. Make quick three quick. I can't speak today. I'm sorry. 3K purse. Purse snipe. Um, personally, I like this one a lot too, actually. The, this, guy, this kind of gave, this program gave birth to a lot of good, like, little filters. This one too is not bad at all. You can just keep getting these for like 15K, tossing them for 19. And it's very active. That's what I like about it because these cards are constantly being pulled out of packs right now. So if I had to invest in one, invest, invest, I'd probably stay around here. Here because there's less risk involved because if you get like a bunch of these for like 65 to 75k you could probably sell them if anything came out for around 100k which would be like a quick 15 to 20k per sell which isn't bad at all so personally i like that kenny clark a lot now as far as the draft capital goes gonna get i'll go over that real quick the draft capital i'm not a fan of this new currency at all i don't know i'm not really feeling this whole promo i'm not I don't know, maybe it's just that after the Christmas promo, everything kind of, like, dies to me. I am I love the Christmas promo, so me personally, I don't, I'm not liking this one. Now, if you guys didn't know before I get out of this video and cap out of here, so, team captain objectives. You can win 20 games with any team captain in your lineup, and you get any extra tokens you receive can be placed. So, you're going to get extra tokens if you already have them full, and apparently, they quick sell the tokens. You can, like, oh, you could toss them into sets or something. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to show you guys right now. Apparently, you could like get rid of your extra captain tokens. So, for me, I'm at a... Let's see. I, I, did I cap out Lewis already? I, is there one more upgrade? Yeah, there's one more. After that, you could you can get rid of the rest of them, which is pretty cool. Considering I'm going to have a lot of extra probably if they keep doing this for the rest of the year. So, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about because people have been asking me questions about this. So, if you go down to sets, where would it be? All right, truthfully, this one I'm not going to know. Oh, right there, probably. Upgrade token exchange. Once you complete, you can quick, you can put them in for 10,000 to 500,000 coins. That's pretty. That's a pretty good deal. I actually saw someone on Twitter get 500k. So that's really not bad at all. I'd recommend, you know, you guys don't forget about that. Very useful because you get a lot of coins out of that. And as far as the draft capital, I mean, you could do the solos. I'm not really a fan. You could do the journey. Not a fan of the new journey, except I do want the, the Jerome McCoy. I'm pretty sure that's who it is. So I will be doing that at some point. At some point, I will drag myself through that. But I'm, I don't know. There's not much new objectives. Just Series 6. Promo's all right. I mean, I'm going to have to start finding out some new series and stuff to keep the entertainment level going and to keep myself entertained and Madden as it is. So I can't. if you guys have any series, please comment them down below. I greatly appreciate it. I've been telling you guys for all, like, I want to make some unique series just for our channel that, like, we could do from year year in, year out during the off-season because everyone usually has one. I don't have one yet. I just started, so obviously I have to think. But if you guys have, comment them down below. Hit me up on Twitter. DM me or whatever. Just give me some ideas or something that we could build. Even a decent idea we could build upon it and try to figure some kind of series out for myself. Also, don't forget about the giveaway. Make sure to comment down below in your console giveaway whatever giveaway console xbox ps4 and then also make sure to like you already commented comment again if you want and then don't forget to hit me up on twitter and follow me on twitter you don't have to if you don't use twitter but that's like it's either or you can either comment on the video and say the um, your, your console or you can hit me up on twitter and say your console and dm and now don't dm me there's gonna be a tweet actually you just retweet it you'll see it but if not also Greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe also. We're getting there. I'm trying to hit 2K by the end of March. We're getting there, so you don't have to. I'm going to force you guys to sub like others do for a giveaway, but I would greatly appreciate it. So you guys should anyways, but you'll still be entered with or without it, so don't worry about that. So probably going to make another MLB video today. You guys showed some pretty great support for that, so I'm glad that I've, I'm glad that you guys are showing support for things that aren't Madden, so like I can start. I'm not going to drop Madden ever. Madden's going to be my game on this channel. But I'm glad that I can start trying other things here and there. And I won't just completely be washed. Like, I've tried a few things earlier in the channel where literally it was like I was getting hundreds of views. And then my, that video got to like five. So, like, I don't want to ever see that because it sucks to do so much production, like post production um, work and effort and like edit it and really put time and effort and like enjoy it and then put it up and no one cares for it. So, seeing you guys show some support in MLB was kind of awesome. It really was. I'm about to get like 500 views on that video, which I don't think is bad considering all my subs are madden at least that i thought it were so like in my head i wasn't gonna get any more than like 100 that's pretty cool so thank you guys a lot for that 
I'll be posting more after this video. I'll probably only be posting this for Madden today because there's not much content on Madden right now. There's a new Deion Sanders, but I'm not really a news kind of guy, so you guys probably already know about that. And I need some more coins. I got to start selling some stuff, and I'm giving that giveaway, so i got to find a way to make some more coins. So I'll be out, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget about everything I mentioned in this video. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.